how to create colourful designs like this with text in Affinity Photo. Brushes. So let's start creating the brush in the first place. So let's just go over here, File, New, and Create. Then just go over here and Artistic Text Tool. Click Document, then go for something like one, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, it could be anything. It could be ABC or a name, anything. And then I'm just going to resize it a bit. And also you can go over here and I'm going to go for a slightly different font, Alphan. You obviously can choose a different font. And now you can recolor it. So I'm going to click there and it's all colored. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break it apart. So right click and down to convert to curves. And that will break it into one and two and three instead of being all one single curve. So convert to curves, span that out, and you can see now I've got the obviously one, two, three, four, and I can simply click here, then go to swatches, and I'm just gonna go for maybe colors, and just click on those, and select another one, click on a different color, green, and you can of course repeat that, let's just go for some different ones, purple, and let's just go for, yeah. So you've got that. You don't have to do that, of course. Now you could add some effects here. You could change the sizes. You could do all kinds of things. Maybe rotate one or two of them. Maybe repeat one or two of them. But also what you can do is you can select them. So select that one, then go to File, and then go down here to Export. And Export, just go for this option, Selection Area. So you can see now you've got that. You can obviously change the size. I'm going for 8354. I'm just going to then click export and now just save it. So one, let's just move the layers out of the way and save. And then I click that one and of course I can do export and then two and so on. I'm exporting them as PNG files. So file, export, and then you've got PNG format there, preset, export, and finally six. So you can see there five, etc. PNG. Then go back to this other document. In this document, I can now go to the brushes. So over to the brushes panel, here's the brushes panel. You can find that in the window menu and then go over here, click here and new image brush. So select that and then simply select those files. So just select all of those. Just move that out of the way again and click open. It's all added now to this brush and you can see the brush here. So if I double click that, just to edit it, I can go here, and I've got general, I can change the size, because it always puts it at about 64. So you can increase it. Now obviously you don't can't increase it too much. Obviously the documents are only say fairly small, but maybe up to 200 or so. And you can change the spacing, and then you can also change rotation. You might decide, you know what, you want that angle. Depends on how you create them. And now if I press B, get the paintbrush, I can actually apply it. And there it is, just applied all like that. And of course you can make it even quicker. Or you decide, you know what, let's just space it out a bit more. But you can also go here to size jitter. So you can go for some small ones. I'm going with pressure, but you could go with random. You can see then you get different sizes of, and also you can go here, click here, and you can go with different profiles and you can see the result there. So just go through those and maybe go for some more small ones than big ones. And you apply that again. Also, you can go for rotation jitter, but also you can go for scatter X and Y. Maybe increase it so it spreads across the document like that. So it's a bit, see, very quick to fill the entire document. Also, you can go for hue and jitter, hue jitter. Just increase that. And you can also go for cyclic there, or just go with random. And again, you can manipulate it just by clicking here and changing different profiles. I'm just going to go with the linear. And also you can modify saturation as well as luminosity. I'm just going to keep those at zero. And then click close. Now apply it. And you can see now you can fill the screen with lots and lots of numbers. But what you can also do is you can always go up here to layer and new layer. You can see you've got layer there. And you can go to effects, click there. And you can go for, click there for out of shadow. So just increase that. And also go maybe for 3D. Increase that. 
there's nothing done yet, so you can't see anything. But now if I apply the numbers, you can see now they've got some 3D depth as well as the shadow. And you can repeat that, of course, maybe create another layer and different results. So let's just go for another one, click effects again. Maybe this time go for Gaussian Blur. Increase that. Maybe go for maybe Bevan Boss. And again, maybe Outer Shadow. And then Radius Offset Intensity. Close. And now apply the brush. And now there's a slight bit of blurring as well as that obviously slightly different bevel effect. And you can create all kinds of designs. But what you can also do, simply go to Layer and New. Apply the brush. Now this has no effects, but apply a few of them. And then you can see now you've got these numbers here. You can manipulate it. You can always go to Filters, Distort and Deform. Or maybe go for Twirl. And just Twirl Design, distort it in all kinds of ways and click Apply. And you see you've got a different design there. And again, you can apply some additional effects. Maybe hold down the Alter Option key and duplicate the design and repeat it. And that's using brushes. And of course, you could use any characters in that. Maybe ABC, but one, two, three, perfectly reasonable as well. And of course, you can vary those. You can apply effects to them before you actually add them into the brush. And then use, obviously, once I've done that, of course, you can't then remove that effect. So I prefer to apply the effect at a later stage. But it's up to you. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.